what is up YouTube that's here bringing you guys another VGC 2016 game we're going up against purple this game who's going to be using Mega Gengar, Landorus, Primal Groudon and Thunderous on my side though we're going to be kicking it VGC 2015 style we're not even bringing my primals or my ubers because they just the ubers that I was using in this team just wouldn't work here at all we're going to go Cress, Amoongus, Pink, Talonflame I mean, that's almost even 2014-esque, other than the Cresselia. I, I don't know. I, I don't really know what happened this game, but this game, I played on stream, and we're going to be going over this replay here. This game was so hilarious, and it was just it was one of those games that you're, you're never going to get a chance to recreate. I mean, if this happened on, like, a VGC, like, tournament stream, oh my gosh, this would have been so hype. So, we're going to see Gengar Landorus, right? And the whole time, everyone's like, it's gonna explode, it's gonna explode, and I'm like, that would be terrible, explosion wouldn't do any damage here, but I mean, if that's what his team's made to do, it's what it's made to do, uh, explosion is better than you would actually think in most situations, it's not that you need to pick up KOs with explosion, it's that you need to be able to bring in a Pokemon while still dealing damage, it's like a super U-turn. So we're going to see Landorus go for the explosion here. Note that he's going for explosion. It doesn't hit the Gengar. And like I said, his main goal isn't to pick up knockouts. It's to soften up these Pokemon so we can bring in a second Pokemon. I mean, I, I didn't see it coming. Everyone in my chat was like, it's going to explode. It's going to explode. And I was like, no, no way. But it did explode. And he goes for a sludge bomb off onto my crest. And this is where... Uh, I wish I could pause this replay and just talk about this. We get a spore off on the Gengar, but I'm not actually as ahead of as it looks. I know his Gengar's asleep. I know I have four Pokemon to three. And, and I get my Trick Room up. And I get my Trick Room up. Yeah, alright. I'm still not as ahead as it looks. I can't switch. Uh, you don't know the sets on these guys, but these are both status things. Microstellia has like Thunder Wave and Swagger and weird stuff. I can't switch. So like, I'm at the... Mercy of these two Pokemon. He's going to taunt my Amoongus, and this is where I decide to take things into my own hands. I'm going to Giga Drain my own Cresselia. I'm going to KO my own Cresselia and make way for a better Pokemon to come on the board. And the reason I can't switch, if you guys don't really know, it's the Mega Gengar. I'm sure most of you guys know that by now, but I probably should have mentioned it. So I'm going to have to KO my own Cresselia, and he's starting to read into my plays, so he goes into Swagger on my Amoongus, and you know how you always want Swagger? To like not hit you when you want to hit them. I'm trying to help him out here. And I just want to KO my own Cress. I just want my Cresselia off the board. And I, I don't get it. So Moongus hits a self confusion. I guess I get a little bit more damage with Icy Wind. It's not really that important. But I just want to get this Cress off the board before Gengar wakes up. Because I want to be able to take advantage of Gengar actually being asleep. So Thunder says speed's going to fall a couple levels. He wakes up, goes for a Sludge Bomb up onto my Amoongus, and uh, note this whole time, that Thunderous has been taken down from Toxic, and Toxic actually is really good on Crest, for those of you that don't know, I actually think it's amazing. So I finally end up Giga Draining my Cresselia value, right? I mean, there's there's not much else to say about that. And uh, he's going to go for a T-Bolt, I think he actually fixed with KO my Amoongus here, kind of funny. Yeah, so both my Pokemon are going to go down, I, I'm still happy with the, the choice to go Giga Drain KO my own Cresselia. That was the right play. I'm technically a Pokemon down. And uh, I don't. I think I might have one more turn left to Trick Room. We're going to see the Citrus activate his Citrus Berry. I almost called it a, a Citrusus. Like a, like a Thunderous instead of a Thunderous. Like a Citrusus. Because they always hold the Citrus Berry. Anyways, I'm going to come in with 2014 Tide and True Kang Talonflame. And uh, I didn't Mega. I, I, I didn't Mega because I might have to hit Gengar. Like, I went for this play just because I might have to hit Gengar for some reason, and I didn't really want to double hit. I didn't really have to double hit. Uh, I was completely fine with that. So anyways, his Gengar does go down to that Banded Brave Bird. He's flinched. He's taken that Toxic damage, and I think I have stabilized, right? Thunders is taken down. Twist Dimensions return back to normal, and Groudon is his last Pokemon. Groudon being the only uber in this whole game, I believe. Yeah, I had Gengar, Landorus, Thunderous, and Groudon. I think I'm fine here. All we got to do is have a Pokemon on the board at the end of the turn, and I win. Because we are going ham right into that Groudon slot. Thunderous is going to tick down from Toxic. Sure, he could go for Protect Thunderbolt on my Talonflame. That probably would have been the right play. But he's not going to do that. 
and uh, it's going to work out for us. I think he should have definitely went for that, but that's just me. I, I don't know, I could have also targeted the Thunderous slot with my Talonflame. I would have been able to pick up the KO over there. He's probably just going for a Prankster play, and it's not really going to work. So we go for that big Brave Bird, going to do a ton of damage to that Groudon. He's going to press with Blades. Even if it crits, it's probably not going to take out my Kang. There we go. Bunch of damage. Crit actually might have taken it out, but I don't think so. Double Edge is going to steal the victory up onto that Groudon slot, and I don't think I'll go down to the recoil. Ooh, I crit it. I see that BM crit right there. But uh, I, I'm going to take a little bit of recoil, and like I said, all I need to do is have one Pokemon on the board at the end of the turn. Let's see if what he's going for with the Thunder is. It is the Thunderbolt of choice on Talonflame. So even, if, even though my Talonflame is rather bulky, it is still going to go down to a Thunderous Stabbed Thunderbolt, and I am going to win the game. Thanks to that Toxic, I put up with my Cress on, like, the third turn of the game. So, Toxic, like, completely picked out a Thunderous. I mean, Toxic and, like, three Icy Winds, I guess. But, Purple does go down, and we secure a victory, which is 2014-2015 tech. I don't think he should have went for the Explosion. I actually think if he just, like, U-turned into his Groudon or his Thunderous, he would have been actually just fine. Because I originally targeted the Spore onto the Wanderous slot, actually. Because I just thought the Gengar was going to protect and just try and disable my Spore. My plan was to go Trick Room, Spore, and then like Rage Powder, Icy Wind just for days. So he couldn't disable my Spore. That was my plan. It didn't really work. Once I saw the Gengar and felt that I, w I didn't want to switch in anything, I knew I was going to stay in with those two and just have to deal with the trap. I, I, I just assumed that I lost. But he exploded and then he ate the Spore. And then I was just so ahead, I was like, I have to just Giga Drain my own crest. This is going to be hilarious. So, Friendly Fire was definitely on this game. And, uh, I don't know, it was pretty fun. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you like this? Did you hate it? Do you guys think these 2014-2015 Pokemon are good in this format? Or do you think it's just mostly Ubers carrying it? So, let me know what you guys think in those comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.